what I want to do is I'm going to come in with the large Biggie wool. Using the full strand, I'm going to come in and make some sumac rows. And then the last portion, we're going to finish off with what we call a basket weave. So find the end. You're coming around two sets. This is actually four strands, but two because that's how I've warped this loom. We're coming over the right side and behind. And we're pulling that all the way through to the end of our wool. And leave your bit of a tail for now. Find your end. Come around one more time from the right, behind, and through. That was your first, well, we wrapped that one twice. Now over to the next two, again, on the right side, behind, and through. Next two, to the right, behind, and pull it through. To the right and through. And keep going like that till we get to the other side. And I'm on my last one to come around my last four, and then come around one more time And because I want to fill up the dip here, I'm actually going to go around one more time. Now we can start back on our process going to the left. So now what we're doing is we're going on the left side. So bring your yarn to the left and behind and through. To the left, behind and through. And carry on to the other side. So I'm coming to the end of my wool piece here. So on the next one, I'm going to tuck it down. And I've cut another strand that's about two body lengths. So I'm going to start here with my four strands. I'm going to come to the left, pull that through. Come in and just open up some of these strands here and that will help to secure that below. And now we're off again to going, we've already gone around this one, so now we're going to go around this one to the left and continue. On my last one on the left side, again, and again I'm going to wrap that one more time. And I've got some to use up here, so I'm just going to carry on and come back now on the right side. So right and behind and pull through. Right, behind and pull through. The last one, going around to the right. And I'll come around one more time, cut that off. And as always, we're going to tuck it in between some strands. Still got my doweling in here, so I'm just going to bring my doweling down. I'm going to come in with some white of the Burnett Softy Chunky in the white and just do a couple rows to open up all these so we get our four strands separated again. So this one is down, so we're coming up and down, and I'll work my way across the row. The other end, we'll pull that all the way through. And tuck in the end. You know I'm gonna say that, don't you? The reason I'm using the needle and not the shuttle because to lift the shuttle now, it's very, very tight to get that to lift all the way up. But I still do have my piece of doweling that will help me to come back this way. 
So this one is still here, so I can take advantage of that and just come along and scoot right up beside the piece of dowling and that will bring me back the other way and save a little tiny bit of time. Do that a couple more times. So we'll just cut this one off now. Now I've cut one strand of the Lion Brand Homespun and I've cut that at six body length. I've done the same with the loops and threads Snuggly Wuggly, the baby yarn that we've been using. And I've cut two strands of the Burnett Baby Coordinates in the white. So I have four strands in total that I have cut, each at six body lengths each. And because this is tighter now with less to working, we no longer need our doweling. This has been working really well throughout the whole weaving, but now we're gonna say bye-bye. Now I'm going to be threading all four of these strands on the needle. So I'll just give them a little bit of a twist to bring those together and bring them over my needle, the eye of the needle, pull down, and pop it through the eye. Now what we're going to do is find the middle of all these pieces of yarn. So pull this through, grab these ends, and find the other end of your yarn pieces. So this was the end of my yarn that I threaded with the needle. Now I found the end of all those pieces of yarn. I'm going to put them together and then I'm going to slide my needle down until I've got the middle of all those strands. And there's approximately my middle. Now because some of the yarn has got a little bit more flexible than the others, you can go back and just smooth those all out because we're going to be going through with all these strands now to make our basket leaf. So now we're ready to do our basket weave. Now that we've opened these up, we're not going to go over every one. Again, I know it's confusing because I've got two strands in each section, but count this as one and these two strands as another one. So we're going to start by going over two and under two, over two and under two, over two, under two, and go all the way to the other side. pull your yarn through to the end. And then bring this up and tuck in the old ends. You knew it. And again, we're going to bring this down. I'm not going to bring this down really tight this time because I want that really pretty lacy look that the basket weave will give us. Very similar to the tabby weave, but it's just going to look a little bit more open and lacy. So now we're just going to come back again and we're under so we're over and back we go. And 
And fold that all the way through. Arch it up. And tap it down. And bring that down. And again, I'm not going to press really tight because I want that nice lacy look to it. And continue going back and forth until you've used up all of the yarn. And there's our basket weave finished. And I think that's looking really pretty. You can just see the baby coordinates that are picked up with that little bit of a shine in there. So to finish this off, we're gonna come back with some white. So our last weave, we were under four and over four. I'm gonna break these up again and have it under two and over two, just to make a solid foundation to hold this beautiful basket weave in place. I'm gonna come in with the brunette softy chunky in the white and the needle, and I'm gonna do just a couple rows just to lock this in. So starting on the left side, I've actually gone over both of these. So whatever you choose, it doesn't matter. We can go under or over, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna go under and over and we'll go through the whole row. And carry on through the whole row. So I've just pulled enough yarn through to make sure I've got enough to come back the other way again. I'll just bring this one down. And back the other way, we're under to over. Again, holding your end and our last pull up can you believe it this is our actual last piece of weaving for this wall hanging we did it I'll cut up those last strands I'm actually going to sneak these up because I want to secure this last piece of yarn into the middle rather than securing on the top. It'll just make it that much more in place. And we'll come back and secure the last one. And I'll sneak that in the middle of these two. 